Uh, we got four rotating tires here at KB0HH. Some have prop hitch motors. This particular one has a has a modified winch motor on it with with a chain drive system. Works pretty good. A little bit of maintenance, but. Uh, even whether it's winter time during ice storm, it's always better to work on the road or on the ground than it is uh, to have to climb the tower. And uh, the home fabricated base system, uh, Gary designed and built that also. Uh, here we have the elevation control system, just a manual elevation control, a little homemade winch system that uh, you just crank that up. Got an indicator here that shows your degrees of elevation and uh, use that for doing a little bit of moon bounce here. Yeah, that's 10 degrees there. There's your indicator right there, down to zero. That right there levels them out. And you just crank up the number of degrees you want, the indicator. That's what you call home brew engineering. Okay. And uh, explain uh, real quick what the cable is and the, uh, the, the pipe going into the uh, building is for. Okay, if you see back here on the back side, it's kind of hard to see. You've got like an eighth inch cable. This is a mechanical linkage cable that goes to the rotor control indicator on the map inside the shack. It's a 100% mechanical, no electrical parts whatsoever. It's all mechanical cable, moving parts that rotates the dial on the map. It is extremely accurate and easy to calibrate if it gets off, but uh, very, very reliable. Go inside in a minute and uh, see how that works uh, on the inside. Anyway, and this tower is how tall? Uh, t about 85, 90 feet to the top, and uh, here, here at KB0HH, and, and located in the Great Salt Plains in northwest Oklahoma, from the top of the tower, you can look and see uh, about 30 miles on the horizon in all directions. So, um, 95, 85, 90 feet is plenty, plenty of height here to hit the horizon. Can you show us real quick how the, uh, the rotor, uh, the map uh, system that uh, you've got set up with the cable okay. and the rotating tower? Uh, this, this is the 2-meter tower and also has an HF tri-bander on it. Uh, controls here, just a, a simple box with, a, with a, basically a paddle type switch. Uh, just hold it to one side and the rotator moves. Uh, the mechanical pointer is very accurate. It's mechanically linked via a cable to the tower. I do have a fast and slow speed on on it. If you need more accurate tuning, you can put it in a slow speed mode. So you've got a degree, a degree running on there as well. Yeah, we've got it, got got compass rows on there, so you, you can get the degrees down. But you really don't need it because when I want to work Kansas City, I point it at Kansas City, and it's there. Uh, the two meter tower, you roughly got about 30 degrees to work with. Uh, you can get pretty close, but you always fine tune your antenna, put it in slow mode, and tap it back and forth till you get the speed or the exact location you need. And that's, that, those cables come from the tower down this uh, tube? Yes, that's one, one continuous cable loop that runs out to the tower. It's all mechanical, there's no electrical parts to it. It works pretty good, even when the, except when the power goes out because the motor don't turn.